I'll stop sharing. Thanks, Nadia, and thanks, Jan. Um, uh, just quickly for, for people, just to, to make it uh, clear that um, the tourism staff here at Federation are also happy to support you in your connection to, to uh, the ATTDW uh, page. And just in terms of that web address, it's atdw.com.au for people who want to have a look at that as a starting point. Any questions from there? Obviously, uh, Nadia and her team will no doubt help, but uh, we can assist as well. Um, so thanks, Jan and Nadia, for your presentation today. Um, I'd like now to present Anja Klupsch to everybody. Um, Anja's uh, the Tourism Development Manager for Riverina Murray uh, for Destination New South Wales. So um, just like to hand over to you to provide an update from Destination New South Wales point of view. Thank you very much. Um, I think my presentation should be coming up in a second, so let me know once you can all see that. Okay, great. We can see it. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna lose the screen where I see you, so I'll um, run through my presentation and then I'll come back. Um, we can um, come back to questions after the presentation. So. First of all, thanks for the opportunity to speak with you today. I'd like to start uh, by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet. I'm on Gadigal land here in Sydney and want to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Working in tourism, Aboriginal tourism is a big part of um, what we do and promote. So we usually include that acknowledgement of country at the beginning. Um, my name is Anche and I work at Destination New South Wales. I'm the Regional Tourism Development Manager for the Riverina Murray region. Um, Today I'm going to speak to you about how you can increase your tourism business's revenue and awareness through bookable tourism products and also tell you um, about what resources Destination New South Wales has available to support tourism businesses to develop, promote and sell those tourism products. I'm going to start with a little story of um, when I went to Orange earlier this year with a couple of friends. Um, we went, as you do when you go to Orange, you, um, we had a couple of recommendations um, and also did a bit of research on which cellar doors we should go to. And we stumbled across this one um, called Rowley's. Um, we found that they had actually a couple of uh, different bookable experiences available. And naturally, we obviously booked the wine tasting, of course, as you do when you go to a winery. And because it was my birthday, we also booked uh, a chocolate pairing just for something special. And because we um, were planning to go there around lunchtime, we also ended up booking a picnic camper to sit amongst the vines and have a lovely um, lunch outside. So basically, we ended up spending around $200 at this winery before we even set foot into the premises, just because they had such a great variety of bookable products. So in this session today, I'm gonna um, we're gonna learn what is a bookable product and what the benefits are, um, what resources are available to help you develop, promote, and sell those bookable products. So let's get into it. Just for way of background, I'm just going to um, tell you a little bit about Destination New South Wales first. Um, we are the lead agency champion and the voice for the visitor economy within the New South Wales government. Our purpose is to deliver economic and social benefits to the people of New South Wales by growing the visitor economy. We do have two sides to the business. One is the industry facing side, and this is where our industry and um, product development side sits and the New South Wales First program. And we also work with a lot of travel agents and tour operators um, to inform them about new products in New South Wales. We've got a research team that works um, hard to provide data and insights that's available to the tourism industry, to tourism businesses, to for their business planning and all that. Um, on the other hand, uh, we've got the consumer facing side, which is basically where we promote New South Wales as a tourism destination and all the events to potential travelers in New South Wales, interstate and obviously overseas as well. Um, we do that through our consumer marketing channels and campaigns like the Road Trips campaign or um, as Jen has mentioned, the Murray Best Chair campaign through our website, visit newsouthwales.com, which has over 11 million views per year. 
um, via our PR and media channels. We work with broadcast, digital and print media nationally and in key international markets and through partnerships as well. Partnerships with airlines, booking engines, online platforms in Australia and overseas so they can promote and sell New South Wales destinations and experience to their uh, customer base as well. So through the work we do, we showcase incredible nature, experiences, small towns with character, events with personality and all these exceptional food and wine offerings in New South Wales. But only sharing um, the story of what New South Wales has to offer is really only one part of the job. In addition to inspiring people to explore, we, we basically want them to spend some money in New South Wales. And um, obviously for that, we need a lot of bookable products. So tourist, a bookable tourism product is basically an experience that has a set price and can be booked in advance of travel. This could be a hotel stay or a stay at a unique accommodation. This can be a guided tour or in the Murray River cruise. Um, it could be a winery, brewery or distillery experience or a visitor attraction like a wildlife park and a museum. Bookable products are different from a destination experience like strolling along the river or watching the sunset and that it's something that can be tailored, uh, promoted through a range of activities and it can be sold to a customer directly or with a travel partner and basically locking in their commitment to visit your business uh, before they even travel. If you have a business or uh, operate a tourism uh, business that offers a free visitor experience like a local gallery or a winery, developing a bookable product is a great opportunity to gain a whole new revenue stream. Um, just on that winery um, example, or and it's just that bottle sales to nowadays doesn't cover the business costs anymore. Tourists, they really come for the experience. They want to explore um, the local local produce, local culture. So basically by selling it, just as an example, by selling it, tasting, you're selling and we don't want you to offer that for free. It's an experience that they buy. So um, yeah, that having that variety of bookable products, where it's the tasting and a platter and a tour with the winemaker, that's really an experience that, um, that you sell. And sorry, my slide just jumped. And um, yeah, additionally, the other thing I wanted to mention about bookable products is really that the COVID pandemic has really, and all those capacity restrictions that come with, with um, the health order have really further increased people's interest in pre-booking. They basically, they want to know that they've got a spot on your table when they come to your business. They don't want to be turned away because you've reached your capacity limit. So it gives them a sense of security as well, that they've got something booked in and they're looking forward to and don't kind of gamble on the day whether they can get in or not. Um, but bookable products aren't just great for your business. They can really also um, put be key in putting the destination on the map for the visitors as they dream and plan their next travel adventure. So therefore, it can really help the destination in a, in a, like in a whole and really grow the visitor economy. In a destination or region where there is a variety of bookable products, um, more opportunities are created to really tell the story of the destination. So in the Murray, you could basically do a river cruise or um, the a paddle steamer cruise on, um, on the lake in the morning. Then you could go to a winery over lunch and then you can go fishing and kayaking in the afternoon. So all really experiences really showcase the essence of what the region has to offer. And travelers are more likely to visit a destination if they can see that there are things to do and places to stay that appeal to them. So basically, by showcasing a variety of bookable products, they might think, oh, rather than just driving through, I might just stay a night or might actually stay two nights. So it really um, kind of showcases everything that you have to offer. Um, conversely, if a traveler is looking online, whether that's on Google search, browsing Airbnb experiences or a TripAdvisor, and if they if they don't see any products available to book, the risk is that they think um, there is nothing to do and maybe it's not really worthwhile staying here. So in the Murray, um, there is a really um, great opportunity to really grow a cluster of bookable products um, and to really, um, yeah, basically ensure that, I'm sorry, to <laughs> ensure that uh, a range of accommodation and experiences is available and to really be visible online to the um, to visitors. Um, Destination New South Wales is dedicated to growing the visitor economy and support tourism businesses and we do that through the New South Wales FIRST program. 
Um, the program was established to really help tourism businesses to develop those bookable products, promote and sell them um, to uh, visitors. Uh, you can jump online uh, onto our website anytime to find on-demand webinars, upcoming events, video tutorials, um, business guides, quick tips. So we've got a range of resources um, to help with whatever you need. And um, if you're not sure where to start, um, you can reach out to us or Destination Riverina Murray or even um, Federation Council and they can point you into the right direction. Um, through the New South Wales First program, we also provide um, businesses with the one-on-one -on -one mentoring support and assistance no matter where in your journey are, uh, you're at. As I said, we can help you identify where the opportunities are. And the team has worked with hundreds of New South Wales businesses and um, they're just on the other end of the phone. And as I said, we'd be more than happy to help you with some guidance, advice. Um, they've got really great expertise in, this, uh, in those areas and they can help you find the right um, resources or even the next step and where the opportunities are for your business. Um, I'll give you a few examples of what you can um, learn through the New South Wales First program and you'll see a few um, URLs uh, as well on the screen as we go and highlighting some of the resources that are available. So through the New South Wales First program, as I touched on earlier, you can learn how to um, create bookable experiences. Whether that's a brand new product or a refresh of something you're already doing, um, this is where you would start. Um, there's also some specific resources on developing winery experiences, which also applies to breweries and um, distilleries. But even um, for accommodation, just as an example for an accommodation provider, um, they could do, um, develop a great um, picnic camper. There's some great riverfront accommodation properties in the region. And I'm sure um, the uh, family would enjoy a picnic by the river. You set up a nice blanket, put a couple of, open a bottle of wine for them and treat them to some local produce or you could offer a uh, welcome package with some champagne and chocolates for a special occasion this is all additional um, product opportunities and um, we also help um, with how to work together locally to build a local and authentic experience that really shares the story of the region and showcases the best the region has to offer. Um, an example could be again a winery working with a local artisan cheese producer or someone that makes a really nice um, bread. Um, I know there's a winery up in the central coast. Um, they do um, produce wines from botanicals and they've incorporated an Aboriginal bush tucker experience. So something that really showcases um, what the region has to offer. And we also um, can provide some advice and assistance on how to stand out from the crowd by offering a quality experience and deliver them to your ideal customers in a way that meet their uh, needs and expectations. So this is where we, as I said, with our expertise and insights from industry, we can really help you tailor your product to um, a specific target audience. Um, the second stream of the New South Wales First program is all about promoting your tourism business. And that includes um, great, to create great marketing content, whether that's um, what kind of video, photo or copy you need to promote your product, um, tips for creating your own content and also how to access the um, photo and video from the New South Wales content library. As Jen has touched on earlier, um, we basically, we've got some great assets from uh, the Murray Best Chaired campaign that we shot two years ago now. And there's some really, you're not just selling your own business, you're also selling the destination and the region. So there are some great assets um, representing, showcasing some tourism experiences in Federation Council that you could use on your website, on your social channels to really show the whole visitor experience that people can expect. We also had a little um, photo shoot earlier this year um, for when we promoted the Murray region as part of our Love New South Wales campaign. So there was some additional content and there, so it might be worthwhile for you having a look at those assets and, as I said, really use them. They're there for you to use and promote your tourism business, but also, um, as I said, you're also kind of selling the region and selling the experience of traveling to the Murray. Um, the second one is really um, how to make sure your product is listed online in all the right places. And we obviously had a great presentation from ATDW and um, 
as you would know, ATDW, which is the New South Wales version, is called the Get Connected program. It's a fr we um, it's a free membership program. I think other states might be charging for it, but um, yeah, it's free for New South Wales tourism operators. And as I said, those Get Connected or ATDW listings, they publish on Visit New South Wales, they publish on Visit the Murray, they publish on um, the Tourism Australia website. So we've got some resources, as does ATDW, to help you um, set up um, your listing and make sure um, that you're listed in other places as well as um, the Google My Business listing, which now integrates with ATDW. So you only need to set up your ATDW listing and automatically publishes on Google My Business, TripAdvisor and other platforms. You're, that's basically your, it's your digital business card. It's how you present yourself to a potential traveler. So you want to make sure you're listed in as many places as possible and you look absolutely schmick. Um, and... The other part of that um, Promote Your Tourism Business Stream is also how uh, you can share a story with the media, including how to work with Destination New South Wales media team. Whether you have a new product, whether you have an updated menu or a new experience that you can offer or a new business that has, has opened, we want to hear about it. Media is always looking for new news. They are looking for uh, the something that happened recently. So any updates, um, feel free to share them with us or with um, Kyla and she can pass on the news. We um, really want to make noise about what's happening in the Maru region to make sure we cover um, all the good things that are happening. Um, the third stream of the New South Wales First program is basically how to um, sell your tourism product. There's some really practical um, events and resources on setting up um, to sell your product directly online or with a third party. Um, the resources include how to get an online booking software so your customers can see live availability and get instant booking confirmation and book ahead of travel. Um, how to sell to customers directly via your own website, but also opportunity to work with travel partners and online travel agents that can grow the visibility and sales of your product by promoting it through their established marketing channels and selling it through large retail networks and online travel marketplaces. I think with the online book, uh, with online booking software, accommodation providers, they, they naturally do it. They are all available on, as I said, we've got Airbnb and booking.com and all these various platforms. It's the, um, I said, it's the experiences that we need more visibility of. And, but even as I said, even for the accommodation providers, there's opportunities to sell their own experience, whether that's as I said, just a picnic camp or a welcome package or whatever it is. Um, one interesting fact is that according to Tourism Australia, 63% of Australian travelers book online, only 12% uh, offline and then there is around 25% that do um, use a combination um, but 63% is pretty big so online booking is clearly the preference for visitors um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, in a recent presentation from an online travel agent um, that we work with, um, Get Your Guide, I actually identified the Murray as one of the regions that has quite a low number of bookable products, uh, bookable tourism experience. So there's a real opportunity for the region and maybe Federation Council can lead the way. Um, they also found that online bookings are preferred and likely to rise, especially in line with a need for increased hygiene standards. So kind of for, for attraction and experiences like reduced queues, reduced face-to-face -face interaction with as I said, maybe an attraction, less pressure on staff. And so being online and digital will be paramount to the recovery. So now that you've learned about the benefits of creating bookable products, I hope you all feel reasonably inspired. I really want you to um, think about what bookable products you could develop for your business. And as I said, whether that's a cafe or accommodation is um, all possible to have your own experiences. If you want to discuss your idea or find out how you can put it into practice, feel free to reach out to the New South Wales First team to discuss this idea with us. As I said, I think the two biggest opportunities for the Murray are really to build a cluster of bookable products and then increase the number of online bookable products. Really put the Murray on the map online and in the digital world. And as I said, Destination New South Wales can give you guidance on where to find the right resources, where you're at, and what the next possible steps are to bring your business forward. So that is me um, and my presentation. I'm going to stop sharing, and then I think we can hand back to 
Kyla and Federation Council.